Hello and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Linked POS Professional and its deployment. Linked POS Professional is a version of Linked POS designed to be used by small businesses that need to have multiple sales terminals. Linked POS Professional is used to connect an unlimited number of sales terminals on the local network. Linked POS Professional comes in two main parts, the back office and the sales terminal. The back office can be used to manage administrative tasks of a store such as managing inventory, managing user roles and security, creating tax and discount policies, generating reports, and much more. The sales terminal is the part of Linked POS Professional that is used at the cash register. This is where cashiers will create invoices and receive payments from customers. Now let's talk about setting up Linked POS Professional. Setting up Linked POS Professional is a relatively easy thing to do. First, you have to download Linked POS Professional. To download Linked POS Professional, head on over to the download page of our website, linkedpos.com. Here, scroll down to the Professional section. You'll see two buttons. The first button is to download the back office, and the second button is to download the sales terminal. Download the back office first and run the installer. Make sure that you download this on the computer you want the back office to be on. Hit Next, Next, and Install. Once done, hit Finish, and this will start up Linked POS. Now this is where you configure Linked POS Professional. Linked POS Professional uses SQL Server as its database engine. This section is used to set the authentication settings. For example, if you choose Windows Authentication, your Windows username and password will be used to authenticate your login into the database. Or if you have created a database user, then you can choose the database option and enter the username and password in the two sections below. Note that these configurations are a one-time thing. Once these are set, you don't need to change them again. Next, choose a server by clicking on these three dots. Linked POS will automatically detect the installed instances of SQL Server on all machines available over the local network. Choose the one that you want Linked POS to connect to. Enter the database name. If the database does not exist, then the database will be created automatically, and all required database objects will be created. If you're connecting to an existing Linked POS database, then no internal action will be taken. Now test the connectivity by clicking on this button. Once done, hit save, and this will save these settings. Linked POS will now exit, and you'll need to start it up again. When you start up Linked POS again, you'll be prompted by this window. Here, set your password, and restart Linked POS. Log in using your username and password, and this will start up the back office. The default username for the back office is admin. Before you start setting up and connecting the sales terminals, you must create a license. Without the license, the sales terminals will not work. To create a license, head on over to Help and choose License. If you already have the license and are setting up a back office on a new machine because you changed your systems, then you need to contact Linked POS for the deactivation of the old license and the activation of the license for the new machine. Note that the licenses for Linked POS Professional are hardware bound. Let's move on to setting up the sales terminals. Download and run the sales terminal setup on the computer you want to use as a sales terminal. Hit Next, Next, and Install. Now hit the Finish button, and this will open up the configuration window. The sales terminal also uses SQL Server as its database. Here, set the authentication and choose the server. When you're typing the name of the database, make sure that it's the exact same as the name typed in the back office. This is because the sales terminals will be connected to the same database as the back office. Once done, hit save and restart the sales terminal. Now this login screen will pop up. Here, enter the administrator's username and password. This is the same username and password used by the back office. You will get a message saying that the sales terminal is not configured on this computer. Hit OK and this window will open up. Here, click on these three dots to open up the list of the sales terminal. Here, you can either choose the sales terminal from the pre-existing list or create a new one by clicking on this green plus sign. We'll be creating a new sales terminal. Enter the name of the sales terminal and hit save. Now choose the created sales terminal and click on this tick to select it. The next tab is the database tab. Make sure that the name of the database and the server you're connecting to is the exact same as the back office. Once done, hit save and restart the sales terminal. You'll be prompted with a login window. Note that you can create new users in the back office. For the sake of this video, I'll be using the admin username and password. Once done, hit login and your sales terminal is good to go. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.